Hello! Hello! Welcome and welcome! There you go. What do you think today's going to be about? I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with this round disc shape. Uh, it's called soap. Welcome, tech support. Hey, Brian's here. And Brian's over there. Let me show you where he is. Um, so anyway, here's what we're doing today. I'm making soap. I, actually, I've already made soap. Well, yeah, turn the volume off. Um, so let me, uh, let me turn around this way. So, hello. Um, can you see me right there? What I'm doing is I'm getting ready. I'm going to London in six days, hence the six day countdown thing. And then what am I doing? I'm telling you what I'm doing. Um, uh, what are you doing big? What you doing big? Um, what I'm doing is I'm a little frazzled getting ready to go to Europe again in about uh, six days. So that's why I said six day countdown. So I was making soap and I do have to uh, unmold some soap that I've made, but I'm going to actually do the soap scope. That's why this is a pre-soap scope. Uh, old, I am ageless and timeless. How old are you? Uh, a pre-soap scope to um, Wednesday. I'm just going to, I'm going to do the actual how to make soap thing. Cause that's what I do. I make soaps and lip balms and I, uh, I play music and singer songwriter travel about the world and um okay i'll go with 30 and uh um so yeah so i'm trying to figure out i'm figuring out the electronics i'm figuring out uh the fish tank i'll show you that here's my fish tank let me show you uh it's over here let me see and then and then you can meet let me see uh, for some reason periscope does not listen when i do this okay there's my friend brian right there He's helping me do do stuff as I'm preparing to go. But here's the other thing, the fish tank. Are you a mom? Yes, I am a mom. I am a very, very proud mom. And uh, and this is uh, this is my fish tank. It's a saltwater um, coral reef tank, and I had to get that set up to go. So, ooh, love the hearts. Thank you. Why don't you give me hearts, Brian? <laughs> it's... Um, <laughs> I, I guess I could be, but, um, but, uh, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I'll take it as one. Anyway, so these are the things that I need to work on. So also I'm working on my electronics. I'm working on what I'm going to bring. So I'm going to show over here is the soap that I've made. The other things I'm going to bring. So I'm kind of just preparing for the next C days. Next, next CD. Next six days, and um, and I'm gonna make some soap on Wednesday. I decided. Now, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna take this is soap right over here that I've made. This is an almond biscotti. This is a um, what was this one? Let me check over here. These are new flavors for me. Here, here's what I made. I made a Turkish mocha, an almond biscotti a chai tea, and I'm also going to make a lavender green tea with matcha. So um, these are over here, and I need to unmold these very quickly. So I will show you uh, one of those. Yes, I am bringing some soap to London as gifts. I'm also going to bring them to, uh, where am I going? Ireland, um, maybe Scotland, Amsterdam, and Italy. So this is what I do. I'm going to bring some soaps. I just made a bunch of them here. And so now I'm just, uh, today I'm just kind of talking about what I'm going to be doing for the next six days if you want to join me with that, because i got a lot to figure out. I could use the help. <laughs> Why do I need that? But yes, I have, I'm filthy. I sweat a lot. No, actually, I, I, uh, I sell soap. I, I make soap and lip balms, and then I, I sell them. Um, and I, but mainly, I bring them, it started out bringing them as gifts. I wanted... I just love making soap. It's just amazing. And so I'm going to give you the recipe and show you how to make soap on Wednesday. And then, um, do I make good money? I do, you know, do all right. Um, <laughs> brick tucky. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a brick tucky thing. But, um, no, so I love, I love making soap and I love bringing it as gifts. And then I had to sell it because it's very expensive. And then I ended up with a hundred bars of soap in my house so I had to sell them so it's it's a labor of love 
and uh, and I'm happy to share it. So, I, like I said, I was going to make the soap tonight, but uh, I just didn't have the chance to do it, do it properly. So I will, I'm just going to show you about what needs to be going on for the next six days. I'm going into the recording studio. I, I make soap from scratch, not melt and pour. I actually make them. And here, I'll show you. Come here. Come, come, come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Over here, these are the oils. I use, uh, this is uh, coconut, coconut oil, is this one coconut? Yeah, coconut oil. They're very big, I had to melt them. This is sustainable palm oil. This is olive oil, palmas olive oil. And then you use this, which is sodium hydroxide, or they call it uh, pot ash, is what they used to use, out of ashes. And then I have the fragrances. And I mix them all together, and I end up with soap. Really cool, awesome, good for you, smells fantastic kind of soap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmold one of them, God willing. It'll work. This is the almond biscotti one. I can't wait to see what this one's like. And I'll cut one of those up and show you what it's like. So, um, so there you go. So that's what I'm doing, and and Brian's gonna help me out. I brought him over here to help me because I was going to um, make the soap, but then we decided, no, let's do the soap Wednesday, right? Say hi, Brian. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Anyone have anything to say to Brian? Brian, do you have something to say to Brian? I'm still trying to connect to you. You're not connected. I'm sitting five feet away. Oh man. But they're getting you. That's that's the Tough important room. part. I sure hope so. So there you go. So that's what uh, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to show you the. I got all these um, cool electronics. This is a a way to charge my phone and to hook into make my own little Wi-Fi system and um, charge things as I need to and also put in extra data. And um, so you go. That's what I'm doing. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow I go to the recording studio, and I'm going to bring you with me live for that. Um, and then uh, do a little more studio Wednesday. i got a lot of packing to do. I'm going to do a lot of cool packing things and show you the, the best ways that I've found anyway to not be a pack mule as you do stuff. So, um, and then show you the fish tank, the saltwater aquarium thingy. Here, let me see. Can you see it this way? Can you see it? There you yes. go. There's my fish tank. And uh, just share with you know what I do. So, um, so yeah. Then I'll play a bunch of songs and travel about the world like I do. All right, so now that we've established that, oops, there you go. Brian? Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> What's up? Uh, what shall we do? What's next on your list of things? Is there any more soap matters to discuss? Um, well, I could... Oh, you know, I could slice up the soap. If, if no one has any questions, I could do that part and show you the finished product. Hey, Amy. Welcome. I'll show you the finished product of what the soap will look like. All right, I'm going to do that. So, uh, Brian, if, if you would be so kind as to hold on to the... the phone here and mm -hmm. let me know what people are saying i'm going to set it up i you know i have to get i have to get a tape measure and then i'm going to slice it up slice up the soap the almond biscotti soap i'm going to um yeah. almond biscotti soap can you see that all right yes oh cool well that's interesting and it didn't really do it this way and i'm going to show you what it's like when it's all done and cut it up and wrap it up and then on Wednesday I'll do an actual uh, making the soap from scratch. Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> Can you see Nemo? There you go and I'll show you the fish tank too. All right so um, I forgot the tape measure though. I need the tape measure. So Brian uh, say hi to them while I go get the tape measure. If you would. We'll, we'll take another tour of the fish tank for just a minute. We'll say hello to Nemo and his sister. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we call and we have... Really. I'll be right back. 
Happy Shrimp. And we have the slugs. Anyway, nice fish tank. She's just getting her tape measure so we can proceed with the fish slash soap show. All right. And we'll say cheers to you all. <laughs> Here comes Laura with the tape measure. Uh, I have the tape measure, and what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to check out the biscotti. Here, let me turn this around so you can have it this way. Um, all right. So, can you see me? You guys still there? So weird looking at it this way. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut up the soap. And if you have any questions or anything, Brian will uh, let me know what you have to ask so I can and cut that stuff up. Okay? All right? You got it? All right, so I'm going to put it this way. Okay. There you go. You good? We're good. All right. So, this is this is the soap. And what I did was I put it in a you see this? this is a PVC pipe. Oh, it smells so good. Can you see it? Almond biscotti. And I put the I put the plastic on so the heat would stay even throughout. Oh, you know what else I need? I need a screwdriver, a flat edge screwdriver. Did I find one? Yes. So I can open it. So this is the tricky part. It's pretty, it's pretty, I don't know if you see it there. I wish you could smell it. Do you have smell-o-vision? Mm. Are you going to London? Am I good? Yes, I'm going to London on Saturday. I'll be there on Sunday. I'll stay there until I go to the next place. <laughs> I don't know when that'll be. Uh, I'll be playing some gigs, singer-songwriter thing. Oh, I should probably say that. My name's Laura Chrissy, singer-songwriter, travel about the world, soap maker, um, unicyclist, very bad juggler. Avery says I'm in Essex, outside London. Cool. Well, then follow me because uh, we will totally, we'll meet. We'll meet while I'm there. I'm going to go, I'm going to ride the eye like you do. I, I don't usually do the tourist things, but I figure, you know, my, my friends would want to see it. So, so I'll do it. So I'm going to do that. I'll play some gigs, though. I'm sure I will. Uh, so here, can you see this? Can you see what I'm doing? Really? See nice. way over there? All right, so you need a you need a screwdriver. It's kind of hard. And I usually hurt myself, which makes it really hard. And this is just a PVC pipe, and I poured the soap in. And on Wednesday, I'm going to show you how to make the soap from the beginning. But this time, I'm just showing you. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell this. Um, let me get some wax paper. The eye is overrated, but it has to to be done once. I know. And I haven't done it, but I figure, how cool would that be to periscope that, right? You want to come with me? Let me know. You want to come with me? And who, who is it in Essex? Who's in Essex? I'm not sure now. Um, Avery? Avery. Avery, you want to come with me? And we'll do, we'll do the eye. We'll do the, we won't do the other tourist stuff. I like to go where the people who live there... You know, the things they do. Because I'm from a tourist town, being from Asbury Park. So the last thing I want to do is tourist stuff. But I think it would be really cool to bring the whole Periscope thing. He used to be the head of security at the Eye. Really? Yeah. Well, then you totally could get us probably right through security. <laughs> we should do it. we got to do that. We'll have his people speak with your people about that. All right, so here it is. Shard is better, he says. What's better? Shard. Shard? What's short, Avery? <laughs> He's laughing out loud. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. So I have the soap. I made it about three, four, six, seven, eight, a little over six hours ago. So hopefully this will come out. A friend of mine made this for me. This cool little gadget. Oh, uh, the shard is a new tall building. Oh, all right, we can go there. But the, I think the eye is more entertaining for periscoping. All right, so here's what I'm doing. They do afternoon tea. Of course you do. All right, so this is the side. No, wait, I'm going to use this side. I haven't... 
What's that fireworks we're looking at here, right? This is... huh? <laughs> no. So here we go. Um, this goes here. Now the soap is inside. All right. We'll put this here, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that this will come out of the tube. I have never made almond biscotti before. Oh, it's not bad. And then you extrude, Ugh. extrude it this way. Look at that. Oh, it's a pretty orange oh. color. Look at that. Oh, here, smell this. Smell this. Mmm. That is delicious. Almond biscotti sapone. <laughs> que bella, que bella. See, so now... Is that cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's soap. Soap. It's soap. It's soap. So now what I'm going to do... Can you still see it over here? Can you see what mm -hmm. I'm doing? Really? First I'm going to grab my wine. Somehow, whenever I'm cooking or making soap, I need to have uh, that no vino. All right, now I take my handy-dandy tape measure, which, by the way, I took a Dremel. Can you see this? And put my initials in it, because I used to be a, a carpenter. <laughs> and when I was on the site, everybody would be taking your tools. So I took a Dremel, and I put my initials in it. See that? LKC. So if I said, hey, that's my tape measure, they'd go, no, it didn't. I'll go, well, it has my initials on it. And that works very well. So, anyway, a little hint for all you carpenters out there. Dremel your initials into everything. Did the same thing with my kids' stuff in kindergarten. <laughs> all right, so, now, since I don't have a fancy schmancy cutter thing, I'm going to just... Avery says good luck in London. He's hitting the hay at 2.30 in the morning there. Oh, yeah. Avery, but stay in touch. I'm going to be doing a prep thing. Every day until I head out Saturday, I'll be there Sunday, and, you know, let me know what you're doing. This is the whole point of Periscope that's so cool. Thanks, Avery. Follow me. Do the thing so we can stay in touch, okay? Um, hmm. What? Who's I'm an actor. Who's an actor? <laughs> Avery? Avery says I'm an actor. Oh. Down camera, you want to see? There's there's the uh, the device. <laughs> Okay, doing? I'll follow, he says. <laughs> he says I'll follow. I love actors. All right, we'll hang. We'll do the hang. We'll follow this week just in case you have some ideas. All right, so first what you do. Thanks, Avery. All right, so it's a little messy on this side. So I'm going to cut this side off. Thusly. Uh, you can't see this, but I'm going to do my best to make a straight cut. Like that. Well, there's a little, little bit of schmutz in there, but we'll see. I'll cut off another. I'll cut off another little piece here. I don't want to lose too much. I want to end up with ten bars. All right. Better. And then the, these are the parts that I keep and I, I use as soap that I don't give away or sell in it. Or you can put it in your uh, clothes drawers or something like that, and it just everything smells. Lots Wait. of hearts. Lots and lots of hearts. Look at that. Thank you so much. See that? Look at that nice smooth soap. So now what I'm going to do, you sure you can see that from here? Mm-hmm. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape measure, and I'm going to measure out, this is really old school, an inch. That's why they come out all different sizes, because I don't have the fancy schmancy cutter thing, and these are handcrafted, which is... Uh, so what makes it cool? Seven, oops. Eight, nine, all right, ten. All right, so now I made a little mark every inch apart. So I cut this part off, now I made a little mark here, and I'm going to cut it just as best I can this way. Hopefully straight down. Someday I will get, there's plenty of machines to do stuff like this that can do it way better, but I don't have one, so I just do it this way. There you go. I love this color on it. It's like 
this could end up being very brown or all different colors a week from now. It takes two weeks to cure. It could be a whole different color. But I've never really seen an orange one. Um, so we'll see what it ends up being. Almond biscotti. Most of these will be gifts from my friends in, in the UK and in Europe. Especially my Italian friends as I go to visit. But there's also, I'll be selling some uh, in my store at laurachrissy.com when I set the store up, which will be ready Wednesday. What a coincidence. But uh, I figured I would show you right now. And because I have to cut them up now. Because if they get stuck in that tube, uh, I'm in trouble. So this is perfect. It's been about, let's see, three, what is it? Six hours. Six hours, cut them out. Oh man, this smells so good. Cut this part off. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars of incredible almond biscotti soap. Yum. All right. So there you go. Very nice. Thanks. So anyway, so that's done. Um, I need to cut up the other ones probably soon. I'm going to see. They're getting pretty hard. See if this one's okay. Oh wow, that one's getting hard too. All right, I'm gonna have to cut these up very soon. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna show you how to make it right from the beginning. Um, any questions? Any questions? What else was I I've got do? one one viewer. Okay. I think. Yep. That's fine because there'll be questions after, and. Um, I am more than happy to answer the questions then as well. All right. So the other things I'm going to do through this week are I'm going to play a bunch of songs. I'm going in the studio tomorrow. I'm going to do another studio scope, and I'm going to figure out a way to have it so you can hear what's going on in the headphones. And then, uh, so Tuesday and Wednesday is the studio. Oh, Tuesday we're doing a hair thing too. Uh, and I'm going to play a few songs. So it's going to be a very busy week um, for the six-day countdown. So be sure and show up. And then I'll, I'll show you the fish tank as well. What else do we need to do? Electronics, packing, tons and tons of stuff. So, uh, so there you go. Any questions, Brian? No, that's what that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you one more thing. Come around this way, Dolly. You gotta join her. Someone just joined in. That makes two again. All right, here. Uh, don't worry about that. Just here, go over this way so I can show them this. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up a soap, and I'll do the, I'll do this again later too. You seem so. I can't believe you can see me from there. That's why I have to keep backing up. Three's on now. Yeah. Let me see it. Here's the guitar. So once the soap is done... Tony P is calling. Huh? What? Tony P is calling. Huh? Oh. Let me see what the stuff is in your hand. Reject. Right. Reject. No, no, just leave it alone. Leave it to me. Alright, so now this one, this one's energy soap. And I'm going to show you how I wrap it up. So all you're missing now is this is all the end stuff. After it's done. I don't wrap these up until the last minute because what happens is is that as these cure it'll take two weeks for them to cure and become saponified and they will also shrink as the water evaporates so um, so now at this point I'm going to be taking this with me so this is just a just coffee filter and I wrap up the coffee filter like this, so you make a make a nice little package thingy. I made these cool little directions for soap. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. You can read it there. 
Can't read it? All right, it's the care and feeding of soap, basically. And I'll put this on to seal this side. In like this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It's so fresh. And this is one of my favorites. Very citrusy. It's called Energy, and it just totally energizes me. Anyway, um, so there you go. And then I take a little gold thing. This is my own invention on how to uh, how to package soaps. Then I take a little gold thingy and I put it on here. Thusly. See? And then I print out these little labels of all the different soaps of Beach Breeze. Uh, now I can't wait for the Turkish one. It's going to be incredible. Uh, lavender and matcha green tea. I'm making that. So here's energy. So you can see you have. So right now I have a label in the back. Just a coffee filter thing. So the soap can breathe. And you can smell it, but it's still protected. So this is the perfect uh, packaging for soap. Uh, and then again, you could still take it this way. You could put it into your closed drawers or things or display it. Now I'll show you. Make sure that this is on right. Center this on. Give it a little pat, and there you go. Can you see that? There you go. So now you have the energy soap all wrapped up in a nice little package. What a lovely holiday gift it would make. Um, hopefully you'll have a chance. I'm leaving on Saturday. So I'm going to do soap making thing on Wednesday. The store will be open Wednesday. So if you want, you can, you can get some soap or lip balms. I make lip balms as well. But you can only get it from like now until Friday. <laughs> and then I'm gone till January, February, January. I'll be back in January. So um, if you want to get any sort of holiday thing, you'd have to get it in those days. Um, but if you want to learn how to make soap, I uh, will give you my entire recipe and the super secrets of how to make it on Wednesday. So there you go. Very, very busy week. I hope you join me because that'd be fun. And then I hope you join me on the whole trip. I got all these electronics just so we can periscope all through Europe and the UK. And then I'll come back and we'll go around the world. And we'll make soap and we'll make lip balms and we'll make... Who the heck knows what we'll make? Oh yeah, lots and lots of music. Uh, absolutely. Doing a lot of gigs, meeting a lot of cool people. So, so, um, so there you go. Any questions? Okay. All right. So, uh, so thanks. And I will see you, I'll see you tomorrow in the studio, uh, with Gary and then on Wednesday with PK and we'll make soap and we got a lot to do. We better rest up. All right. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.